Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm just going to be uh, uploading this video because I want to talk about a few things uh, regarding account linking, uh, what we know about account linking, like when we can see like how we can get these skins on our main Epic Games account. Um, I constantly get daily messages on Discord uh, all about like when will we be getting this man is it even worth doing all this china thing uh and the hard truth is guys not a lot of us know right now um epic haven't spoken about anything we game haven't uh a few of us in the discord have contacted them via email and we still haven't received a response so we're not sure about that uh but we will keep you guys updated discord's the place to be guys remember that um so yeah, so let's get into the video about talking about different things. I've got about six different topics I want to talk about uh, and give you guys some insight on what we know right now, when we could possibly be seeing it, um, and yeah, just what we know, guys. So enjoy the video and stay tuned. Okay, so the first thing I want to be talking about uh, in this video is <clears throat> when the back blings were found. So as you see here, we have the penguin. Uh, and the insignia shield that were data mined by two epic buddies. I'm pretty sure everyone now knows exactly who this guy is. He he always, uh, as soon as a patch comes out, this guy downloads it and just leaks everything out, man. So what I want to be talking about is when this when these files were found. So uh, not this patch, but I think it was 5.0, right? Um. Yeah, it must have been 5.0 because this is all the battle pass stuff. So, so 5.0 uh, is when these skins were found. So that was July 12th. Okay, so that's like the start of this month, guys, and it's pretty much the end now. And as you know, uh, Fortnite China released in China through Wii Game on the 24th, so four days ago. Now that's quite impressive because you'd think that these two skins wouldn't be added uh especially to the epic games files like 20 maybe like 15 days earlier guys that's kind of odd you'd think these skins would be released with the china patch uh when the game was released on wii game um because i think the last update was the, the 24th perhaps uh yeah see so the last update 5.1 for epic was the 24th same day as uh, China the China version released so yeah that's kind of weird and it kind of leads on to the fact that why are these get why are these two files in the epic games uh, version first like you'd think like they'd wait way um, up until the 24th to release these skins in the 5.1 patch but no they add them a uh, like a patch earlier two weeks 14 days early um, especially on the epic games version as well guys that's what i'm trying to say like these skins are also av they're, they're clearly available to get on the epic games version so you never know maybe they have plans to allow these skins onto the epic games version rather than being locked a wii game right now okay guys so the next point i want to bring up is something that one of our discord members discovered and that is between the Epic Games version and the Wii game version here, you can actually add each other and message each other. So if I uh, load up both friends lists, you can clearly see uh, this right here is my Fortnite uh, Wii game account. As you see here, Melalius, Melalius is online. And on the Wii game version, uh, as you see here, my main Epic Games account, servers is online, servers. So that's kind of interesting. You can actually add each other, as you see. We're both friends. So if I go over a whisper, um, if I want to whisper Melalius account uh, test, <coughs> as you see here, you can whisper each other as well. Now people are interested about this because everyone started spamming me on Discord. They were like, you can add each other, um, and that's kind of weird because in terms of PS4 currently and Xbox if you if I was to add a PS4 account I'd have to add their Epic Games account um, not their PS4 name I'd, I wouldn't be able to search like 
obviously PS4 have gamer tags and Xbox have gamer tags, but I believe you have to add the Epic Games account in order to add, to friend them. So it kind of works in the same way. But I think it's quite interesting how like one another can, even though they're completely different clients, you can like uh, message of, message each other right now. So if I, oops, if I do this test test two. So you hear that the response comes straight back. So that's kind of something to, f to think about, guys. Um, you know, we can message each other. So there's clearly some kind of uh, transfer, like transferring, I don't know how you'd say it, transferring data between the two. Uh, and as you know, uh, gifting is just around the corner, apparently. And I, and I know it's not what everyone seemed, thought, seemed to think it was, uh, but you never know. Uh, we may actually be able to trade these back blings just because they are in our inventories i know how it works apparently according to leakers you have to buy a skin and that's currently in the item shop so if i want to give myself this i'd buy it and i'd press like gift to gift to servers but you never know we may just be able to uh, gift like skins we already own all right so the next point i want to bring up is the is something that not not a lot of people are aware of right now so if you currently have access to the Wii game version you'll know that if you load it up you go into a game just a regular solo you'll see people with season 2 skins season 1 skins season 3 skins every battle pass season and you're like wait how are these guys getting skins you can't link accounts right so I want to bring this up because a lot of people are confused about this um, so I spoke to a lot of guys on the QQ app who are Chinese and they all say the same thing. So it's completely reliable information, guys. I wish I had a screenshot, um, but it's all in Chinese. So it's kind of hard to translate it all. But basically, they tell me that before the game released, the Wii game version on the 24th, there was a Hong Kong private server they got. So I don't know how it worked, but it might have been through Epic. It might not have. Um... I'm still waiting on some sort of answer on that, but as you know, you can get um, Asian servers, you can get Oceanic servers. So apparently there was a Hong Kong server somehow. And people from Hong Kong, let me just load up Google Maps. People from Hong Kong were the only people to play on these servers. Um, as you see, let me load this. Whoa, 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 whoa. As you see, this is China, and Hong Kong is down here, I believe, right? Yeah, so Hong Kong's down at the bottom of China, pretty much, guys. So, the only people who could connect to these servers, apparently, is the Hong Kong, people from Hong Kong. No one in China, no one in all of this area, guys. Um, I'm not sure why or anything like that, but these Hong Kong players just had access to Fortnite, just like us. They could buy the Battle Pass, they could buy skins. Um, as you see here, I can't buy V-Bucks right now. I can't even buy the Battle Pass. I, I just got it for free because that's just how they're doing it right now in the internal test. But none of the, the whole of China couldn't uh, get access to this. Um, obviously, when Wii Game released, these the Hong Kong server merged with Wii Game and the Hong Kong players got to keep all of their skins they, they managed to get through on these Hong Kong servers guys. We game Fortnite, sorry, is in an internal test phase. That's why you have to have an invite link. You have to wait for your uh, selection process to go through. Um, it's only in an internal test right now, guys. So that's why I think you can't buy V-Bucks and things like that. Because uh, I think they want to test it all. I don't know if they're going to wipe your account or anything like that. But I think they're just trying to test it all, you know. So what I'm thinking is... Um, on the 24th, let me show you, you'll see that this internal test runs from July 24th, four days ago, to September 24th. So July, June, July, August, September. So that's two months, guys, um, this internal test will run for. So I'm thinking we Game and Epic are talking, obviously, and they're going to try and get people from China, um people from China's skins onto Wii game because 
you could probably guess that we the Wii game clients probably going to be a lot more reliable for them uh, server wise connection wise and it's just going to be a more reliable client than epic games launcher so what i'm thinking is they're gonna allow if you go to epic games right now guys you will see that you can obviously connect your steam account nintendo ps4 xbox github i'm thinking they're gonna add a button down here called wii game and you could be able to connect it there i'm not sure but i asked epic this on email um i'm still waiting for the response obviously but i think this this is how they're gonna do it surely so that's just something to think about guys that's how currently people have skins on wii game from like season three and such so just want to clear up that confusion and give you guys some something to think about all right so the next thing is a question i got from a member on discord and he said um what are we currently waiting on as far as linking our accounts because he keeps hearing that we can't yet but what are we waiting on and i think this is a good question as it kind of links in with everything as i just mentioned the internal test currently for the Wii game version of China is two, a two month period and um, what I'm thinking as I said there is that after the two month period when the full game releases they're gonna allow some sort of linking accounts uh, because I'm sure a lot of the Chinese players are gonna be kind of mad that um, they can't play this more reliable client just because they didn't live in Hong Kong um, and all their skins are now on epic and they can't get them on the wii game client because i spoke to some guys on qq and they're like they kind of understood what i was saying like aren't the chinese mad that they can't get their skins on wii game too and they were saying yeah of course we'd love our skins on both like versions um but yeah so that's kind of what we're waiting on we're kind of waiting on this two month period to be up and see what happens you never know they might allow linking but within this two month period but i'm thinking we'd receive something as big as that afterwards you know so that's kind of what we're waiting on we're kind of waiting on responses um from epic and Wii game support any sort of information we can get all right guys so the next thing is that in the Wii game settings uh as you see i'm on the Wii game client if you go to settings along to pr uh, like the profile section as you see here you have two ids you have your epic games id and i believe this is maybe like your wii game id which is kind of weird um why you would have an epic id along with another id um this button here just means copy but um yeah it's kind of odd how like you have to have an epic id on this uh, so perhaps this could also relate to the idea of linking accounts um, with your as well as gifting maybe uh, so this is also something to think about and notice guys um, you never know I definitely think there's gonna be some sort of linking um, to get those backlinks onto your main account but yeah this is just something I, I noticed uh, upon when the game released four days ago that you have actually got an epic id uh, even though it's a wii game version so yeah guys so that's kind of everything we we know about the current situation between lincoln and i know it might not seem like a lot of info but you need to remember the game's only been out for four days um and we haven't received like any notices or anything on the uh, fm website this website uh, of nothing of like linking accounts with epic or things like that so we just need to be doing certain things like asking on the qq app all of us um and there's also another thing i want to show you guys what you could do uh just to try and uh convince epic even more uh so if you head over to the to google and type in epic support you click this top link epic uh, games.com slash customer service pretty much <clears throat> and you go to this website you want to click Fortnite and then you want to ignore all this you want to hit contact us now here you want to fill this out it's gonna send an email to epic uh, regarding your own issue so you I'm just gonna show you guys what you could do um, obviously I'm not gonna tell you what to write but I'm just gonna show you like the 
things you need to set up in these drop down menus so uh, for language just make sure your English um, put your name in yeah put your name and email in uh, and then you want to go in this drop down and you want to scroll down until you see I forget where it is Uh, account linking issues okay what I did in my email is uh, I know it might sound a bit dumb but I pretended that I was a Chinese citizen and um, I had a I preferred to play on the Wii game account I mean the Wii game version but all my uh, skins are on epic uh, and then I basically just asked them if there's any plans to add link in between the two so kind of just bring up the fact that you really hope you can get your skins just kind of like try and convince them guys because as i say the more uh, emails epic get the more they're likely going to add a feature like this and the, the more they're likely going to be speaking with Wii game on how they could do this so that's just a little thing um you could do at the end of this video uh, and all of us would appreciate it massively